When you launch the Portasonic calculator, you will be presented with the following screen. On the screen is a list of all of your saved pipes. If you haven't added a pipe yet, it will be blank as is shown. To demonstrate, I will add a pipe by pressing the Add Pipe button. Pressing this button takes you to a screen, where you are instructed to input the relevant information. First of all, add a pipe name. This can be anything that you like. Now select a pipe material from the list. There are a range of pipe materials to choose from. Now input the pipe length and pipe diameter. Also input the entrance height of the pipe and the exit height. Make sure that all of these measurements are taken as precisely as possible to ensure the most accurate result. Once all of the information is inputted, press Save Pipe. To perform a calculation with the pipe, press on its name. Now input the fluid. You may choose from a list of 23 different fluids. Then input the temperature in degrees Celsius and finally the flow speed as measured by the Portasonic two-point flow. Press calculate and the gauge pressure will be calculated in bar. If you are happy with the measurement, you may save it to a record. Later, you may choose to perform another calculation on the same pipe. Now we have saved a couple of records. We can view them by pressing the View Records button. Here is listed the date and time that the record was saved, the name of the pipe, the gauge pressure, the fluid, the flow speed, and the temperature. Rather than adding a pipe, if we merely wish to perform a quick calculation, we can press the Quick Calculate button. This time, input all of the information at once and press Calculate. However, it is worth noting that you cannot save a quick calculation. To view and export all of the records on the device, press the Export button. To make things interesting, we will add some more data here. Now we have two pipes worth of data, so we may choose to filter by the pipe as well as by the date. If we select example 2, only the data corresponding to the second pipe are shown. You may choose to export these filtered records, or you may choose to export all of the records on the device. You may do so either by attaching to an email in which case the Gmail client is launched, or by downloading to the device and exporting to USB. If you select the former, you will see a confirmation that the Portasonic records have been saved. Now if you navigate to the download folder, you will see that the file is present in the folder. To export by USB, use the OTG to USB cable provided with the device and copy the file over. Remember to eject your USB before you remove it.